Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 26th September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers, and you can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, market data, let's just uh, go through that with you. In terms of the close for Friday, uh, US market certainly closed weak on Friday, Dow Jones down. S&P, the Nasdaq as well, specifically the tech sector was hit hard due to number one, Yahoo data breach, which was confirmed uh, in, well, basically occurred in 2014, but it's taken them two years just to uh, confirm that it occurred. Uh, again, possibly protecting the share price. And then we also had uh, talk with regards to uh, a report from GFK that uh, iPhone sales in the UK had uh, basically been down net net 25%. Uh, uh, same time last year. Okay, so again, the demand for iPhone certainly isn't there, uh, given the even though with the Samsung 7 uh, fiasco, uh, still we fail to uh, increase demand for the iPhone. So it certainly shows that uh, the uh, Apple uh, share price certainly is uh, uh, certainly overbought, and again is uh, vulnerable to a potential pullback. Okay, now U.S. market certainly weak. Uh, again, the negative momentum will continue into the European session. Okay, uh, in terms of European uh, news flow, uh, again, uh, oil prices really are a major, uh, obviously, a variable in, uh, in in every market really, uh, and again, it certainly does uh, uh, influence uh, risk appetite. Now, uh, oil prices certainly flushed on Friday uh, on the back of uh, potential failure of OPEC and this Algiers meeting. Uh, the Russians are certainly playing down the potential meeting. Uh, whilst the uh, Saudis certainly uh, have lost faith uh, to a large extent as well. So it certainly seems like the, um, the actual uh, meeting certainly is, uh, is failing to uh, come to any fruition uh, and certainly is sending oil prices lower as well. Now, if I bring up the daily chart of oil, you can certainly see the bearish engulfing candle there. Uh, the 60-minute chart does show you a potential uh, gap fill region that certainly needs to close below. Uh, again, you have uh, potential support down in this zone now. Given the fact that this meeting, again, it certainly seems de like deja vu. Everybody talks up a potential uh, oil output cut, output cut, and then all of a sudden it's denied and negated, and everybody's talking against it. So it certainly seems to be deja vu, okay, or Groundhog Day, and it's the same scenario that seems to occur over and over again. Now, the next potential support is seen around the $43.5, especially given the fact that the, uh, the Russians are certainly talking it down. And that certainly isn't good news. Although we have had a uh, Nigerian militant group, Nida Delta Avengers, say uh, uh, attack uh, Bonnie Crude oil export line on Friday. So again, so it may well be underpinned by that. But again, Russian Energy Minister Novak says reaching oil output freeze deal non-critical. Okay. Algeria meeting all energy minister, all options possible, etc., etc. So nothing's come out so far. Now, in terms of the bearish arguments for European close, you have this potential uh, terrorist attack in Sweden that again will exert pressure on the downside. Okay, uh, you have uh, the uh, Turkish lira certainly extended losses, uh, dropping to almost two month lows again on the back of a Moody's downgrade. So again, merging markets will come under pressure. Okay, uh, we have had New Zealand data out just now, so New Zealand imports coming in better than expected, uh, exports coming in slightly weaker than expected. New Zealand trade balance minus or negative. Uh, so certainly weaker than expected in terms of the trade balance, but the import side of the equation still remains strong. So the domestic economy remains strong, but the exports certainly have been hurt, and therefore a weaker currency will need will be required in order to uh, address that uh, imbalance. And therefore, given the fact that the RBNZ were already dovish, this certainly will accelerate the potential move on the downside. So keep an eye on that. Although the Aussie or the RBA certainly remains hawkish. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the equation there. Now, in terms of the um, fundamentals to watch out for the next 24 hours, okay, we have Chinese data out overnight, okay. We have Japanese uh, Mr. Kuroda speech, again, that can influence the USD JPY and can shift the uh, sentiment in the market. You have German IFO data tomorrow, again, important. Italian retail sales, uh, US home sales and Dallas Fed. And uh, the, the, the most important, really, as always, are central bankers, and therefore we have... Uh, Mr. Draghi speaking at, uh, speaking at 3 p.m. And then we have the uh, Mr. Nowotny, uh, ECB's Nowotny speaking at 5 p.m. So those two uh, uh, time zones are going to be, or timings are going to be very important. Okay, so watch out for 3 p.m., 5 p.m. in any movement in the euro, which in turn will obviously send the uh, the actual um, stock markets in the, uh, uh, well, basically in the inverse direction. So the euro goes higher well, based on a hawkish speech, and that will send equities lower. Now, we have had comments over the weekend with regards to Mr. Weedman, or sorry, Mr. Schauble. Uh, stating that he's going to be tough on Draghi. Apparently, there's a meeting this week. So again, uh, Mr. Draghi's uh, obviously uh, 
uh, bearish or should we say dovish stance will certainly be questioned and therefore will cast a shadow over ECB's QE policy going forward. And any any shadow that's cast over it dead always pushes a euro higher and therefore equity markets certainly suffer due to the uh, exports certainly uh, moving lower. OK, so oil prices lower, US markets flushed, iPhone sales certainly under pressure. We have terrorists, uh, potential terrorist incident, emerging markets under pressure. So certainly seems to be a barrage of uh, reasons for this market to move lower. Not in, uh, adding the fact that we have a Spanish election deadlock as well. OK, that certainly is exacerbated. And we have Brexit concerns as well, Mr. Johnson's uh, comments over the weekend and obviously on Friday as well with regards to triggering Article 50 earlier than expected. So again, that honeymoon period that UK is in certainly will come into uh, question. So again, like I said, a lot of arguments for a potential move to the downside, especially given the fact that the S&P 500 is putting a potential topping tail, that gap fill resistance. I'll show you the chart of the S&P 500. Very, very important chart here, folks, on the daily chart, daily by daily basis. Okay, so you can certainly see we held gap fill, diagonal trend line is held as well, and therefore looking to flush. Although we are into gap fill support, gap fill support is seen at uh, 2163. Okay, 2163. Right, let's look at the technical picture now. So, German DAX, daily chart. Okay, daily chart is held 75%. Given the fact that we have these uh, bearish fundamental arguments, you are going to see a weak weakness on the uh, the German DAX 60 minute chart. You have higher highs and higher lows. Uh, well, certainly intact, but I'm certainly looking for these gaps below to come into play. OK, looking for these gaps below to come into uh, play. 10 minute chart. Uh, again, we certainly seem to be consolidating around that 10, 6, 25, 10, 700. But again, like I said, looking for the first gap to come into play at 10, 430, especially with German IFO data tomorrow. And if Mr. Draghi is hawkish, you are going to see a flush in the equity markets as well. So bear that in mind, OK? Uh, also, obviously, given the fact that commodities are weaker as well, that certainly needs to be factored in. French CAC. OK, French CAC certainly uh, has held more or less 75% on horizontal resistance. So therefore, vulnerable on the daily chart. 60-minute chart at the moment. Again, you have multiple unfilled gaps below. That certainly need to close. 10 minute chart, again, you are holding resistance at 4,500, 4, unfilled gap at 4,510. I'm more than happy to short this for the potential gap fill at 4,400 on the downside, okay? So certainly looking for weakness there. Uh, the FTSE 100 daily chart certainly has topped out, okay? From my perspective, you had a doji candle there at key resistance and looking for a potential reversal. 60 minute chart, at the moment you've got a double top, looking for a lower high and then obviously looking to flush now. Potential support zones below you have for the key support seen at uh, 6880 uh, and then you have the next key support seen at 6830 in the downside. So watch out. 10 minute chart. Again, your resistance zone is seen at 6920. So certainly holding that, especially with oil part mark, oil flushing down to 44, down almost $2. OK, so again, oil FTSE 100 potential support seen at 6880. If that flushes, the next support seen at 6. Uh, 830 so again looking for a, a, a quite an impressive move on the downside okay so again uh, FTSE certainly remains bearish from my understanding and my perspective euro stocks now last indices bring up the chart of euro stocks here we go euro stocks 50 already short on this and on friday session looking for further downside holding that gap fill resistance therefore obviously bearish and daily chart 60 minute chart we've certainly held that key resistance at 3060 tested 3030 now looking for further downside next potential support 3010 then gap fill seen at 2980 so again looking for downside movement 10 minute chart at the moment again you have resistance at uh, 3040 and then gap fill at 3050 looking for those two levels to hold and then obviously look to test the uh, lower region again 3010 and then gap fill at 2980 and then further gap fill at 2965 all those zones certainly uh, are, are in uh, are, are valid uh, are certainly uh, potentially active to uh, to be hit to be hit okay so again bias certainly remains bearish from my understanding okay uh, please be sure to visit tradesignal.com and also visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus goodbye now